please, please, God told me to ask y'all for help. I need your help. So I'm fighting this fight, and to other people, it's an impossible dream. It's not impossible. It's going to happen. I need your help. I can't do it alone. I'm overwhelmed. I'm crazy. I God, I beg you. I beg you. After we explore the escalating accusations for abuse involvement in sex trafficking and from questionable business practices to allegations of drug-related activities, you'll see why some are suggesting it might be time for Diddy to turn himself into authorities. With the list, please, please, God told me to ask y'all for help. I need your help. Oh, puppy, puppy, puppy. Look at you now. You wouldn't remember me because you're a punk ass bitch, but I did security for you in the early 2000s. And even back then, I knew, I knew you did this. I need your help. I can't do it alone. I'm overwhelmed. I'm going crazy. I thought I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. I mean, think about it. Who would make the most money off of their deaths? Hmm. I'm fighting this fight, and to other people, it's an impossible dream. It's not impossible. It's going to happen. And look at you now, finally getting what you deserve. You took two of the greats from us, and you think talking to what God and what universe is going to save you from what you deserve. And now you're getting it. Recent developments in ongoing lawsuits paint a troubling picture of Comp's behavior, raising serious questions about accountability and justice in the entertainment industry. One of the most significant accusations comes from Cassie Ventura, Diddy's ex-girlfriend. In a lawsuit filed last year, Ventura alleges years of sexual abuse, including rape, at the hands of Combs. Shockingly, Ventura claims that Combs not only forced her into sexual acts, but also coerced her into engaging in sex with male prostitutes while he filmed them. This disturbing allegation shed light on a pattern of manipulation and exploitation that extends beyond one individual. Furthermore, Ventura's case is not an isolated incident. Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The Boule the the is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. Ben Mercedes worked for Bad Boy Entertainment for four years and worked for Hillary Rodman for five. I had this with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would. Uh, he would they tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 new cars and I heard lots of business. Because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with speaking and stuff. And I would be in the, I was like a slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I called Herpes and I came back and I seen him for the Herpes and won. But they didn't did Mark Garibos and Ben Mercedes attorneys, okay? Another accuser, known only as Jane Doe, has come forward with allegations of sexual assault against Combs. Like Ventura, Jane Doe claims that Combs subjected her to unwanted sexual advances and coercion, leaving her traumatized and emotionally scared. These accounts paint a troubling picture of a pattern of predatory behavior that cannot be ignored. In addition to these allegations, speculation regarding Combs' involvement in the death of Kim Porter, his former partner and mother of his children, has further fueled public outrage and scrutiny. While no formal accusations have been made, rumors and speculations surrounding Porter's untimely death have cast a shadow over Combs' reputation, adding another layer of complexity to the ongoing legal battles. As the legal proceedings unfold, calls from accountability and justice are growing louder. Survivors and advocates are demanding that Combs be held responsible for his alleged actions and that the broader entertainment industry address 
the pervasive culture of abuse and exploitation. In the face of mounting evidence and public scrutiny, the time for columns to be held accountable may be fast approaching. The outcome of these legal battles will not only impact Com's legacy, but also send a powerful message about the importance of holding powerful figures accountable for their actions. Of course, is Diddy. She was promoted to Diddy's chief of staff back in 2020, and she's very important to him. Combs has even written about her on social media. Meet Christina Corum, chief of staff at Combs Enterprises. Christina, AKA KK, keeps everything in my life and my business running. She's been my right hand for the last eight years and has consistently proven to execute and get S word done. Don't know how I'd function without her. In another post, Diddy wrote, Happy birthday to my ace, Boon Coon, my right hand, my day-to-day -day manager that keeps my world twirling and she's always got my back. She makes sure that I smile every day and I don't go into those dark places. Today is your day. It's your mother effing birthday. Go KK. It's your birthday. Love you at Christina Quorum. Combs clearly values Christina Quorum's work and his relationship with her. The lawsuit Lil Rod filed makes some disturbing and salacious claims against Quorum, and again, Combs has denied what's in that lawsuit. First, Lil Rod has claimed that Mr. Combs's chief of staff, Christina Quorum, also known as KK, instructs her staff to retrieve drugs so she can provide them to Mr. Combs for his consumption. A footnote in the lawsuit that Little Rod filed says, Defendant Quorum instructed her staff, Brendan Paul, Frankie Santella, and Moy Bond to spike bottles of champagne with ecstasy. The timing of the raids, in conjunction with mounting accusations against Combs, has fueled speculation that he may be implicated in sex trafficking activities. The outcome of the investigation will have far-reaching implications, not only for Combs, but also for the broader conversation surrounding sex trafficking and exploitation in society. In this segment, we discuss the grooming allegations surfaced on social media platforms. Justin Bieber, one of the most prominent names in the music industry, has come forward with shocking revelations about his experiences with Combs. Bieber alleges that Combs used his influence and power to groom him from young age, promising fame and success in exchange for loyalty and compliance. Second comes Usher, which is a well-known figure in the music industry. He has echoed Bieber's claims, alleging that Combs played a central role in his early career and exerted undue influence over his personal and professional life. The sheer volume of evidence and testimonies against Combs suggests that his reign of manipulation may finally be coming to an end. In a startling development within Sean Diddy Combs' inner circle, his longtime assistant, Paul Reynolds, has been arrested, shedding light on a web of alleged criminal activity. Here's a detailed examination of the arrest and its potential implications. Reports indicate that Reynolds faced a range of charges including drug possession, money laundering, and conspiracy to commit illegal activities. If convicted, Reynolds could face significant jail time and hefty fines. The case underscores the importance of accountability and transparency within Com's organization. Allegations of drug use and distribution within his parties have also surfaced. Numerous individuals, including former associates and industry insiders, have come forward alleging that Combs has a long history of drug abuse to cope with the pressures of fame and fortune. Many worry that Combs' alleged behavior sets a dangerous precedent and perpetuates a cycle of addiction and self-destruction among aspiring musicians who look up to him as a mentor and role model. The involvement in drugs, especially if connected to trafficking, carries heavy penalties and social backlash. Upon information and belief, this occurred the day of December 31st, 2022, New Year's Eve party. Lil Rod claims he complained to Coram about sexual advances from Combs, and she responded, Sean will be Sean, and downplayed Combs groping him as horseplay, stating, he's just showing that he likes you. Jones also called Coram the Ghislaine Maxwell to Sean Combs' Jeffrey Epstein claiming she required employees to walk around with fanny packs of cocaine, GHB, and ecstasy to keep Combs high, and much more. I'm gonna give it to you raw. Parents make sure that you don't get f Straight up, there's a lot of f going on in the entertainment industry. The music industry, everybody's getting caught up into something. I'm, I'm, I'm cured now though, everybody. I'm cured, everything's good, you know. Y'all can have me over for dinner, everything is good. 
Will Diddy step forward to confront these allegations head on? Or will he find another way to navigate these turbulent waters? Only time will tell. Thank you for turning into our in-depth analysis. Remember to subscribe for more updates and comment below with your thoughts on this unfolding story. What do you think is the next step for Diddy?